the last cation test with sodium hydroxide and ammonia is the test for zinc 2 plus which is what this video is all about so let's get started with the experiment here's a sample of zinc 2 plus let's check out what happens with the sodium hydroxide so hopefully what you can see is that it also produces a white precipitate now the keen eyed amongst you might be saying but hold up this is the same thing that I see for calcium 2 plus how do I know if I've got zinc 2 plus if or calcium 2 plus they both produce white precipitates now the difference is that with zinc 2 plus if I add the sodium hydroxide in excess what happens is that the white precipitate dissolves and you start to get a colorless solution being formed you can see my precipitate is beginning to disappear it takes a little bit of time so for zinc 2 plus you get a white precipitate with sodium hydroxide and then that precipitate dissolves to give a colorless solution in excess now with the ammonia let's grab another sample so here's some more zinc 2 plus the ammonia does a pretty similar reaction so you can see I'm still getting my white precipitate being formed with a small amount of ammonia but as I add my ammonia in excess oh, we're getting a lot more but hopefully the more I add we should be able to see that it starts to dissolve you can see it's starting to become more colorless now so my precipitate starts to disappear the more ammonia that I add to the solution. So you can see it's almost colorless now, almost all of my precipitate has disappeared. And now it's equation time. So the zinc 2 plus reacted with sodium hydroxide and with ammonia solution. Don't forget that ammonia is really just ammonium and hydroxide ions when it's in water anyway. So my zinc 2 plus is just reacting with hydroxide ions in both cases. It's producing zinc hydroxide, which is that solid white precipitate that we saw at the beginning. And then don't forget that if you add an excess of either of these two things, then they will dissolve to form a colorless solution. Now the reaction behind that you definitely don't need to know as part of your GCSE. If you're interested, please feel free to research further as to why it goes colourless. That's it for the test for zinc 2 plus ions. Make sure that you can tell the difference between the test for zinc 2 plus and calcium 2 plus. There's a lot of similarities between those two tests.